feel like when people want to eat plant-based, protein is their number one concern. But there's so many more choices than you might realize. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Melissa, I'm a dietitian, and we talk about food and stuff here on my channel, so make sure you're subscribed if you have not already. I'm pretty sure like 90% of you are not subscribed. I can see my stats. I see you, I'm looking at you. Anyways, today we are talking about plant-based protein, my favorite forms of plant-based protein, and just a little bit more about it. So let's talk about plant-based protein. And I feel like to do that, we should start by just talking about protein. Why is it important? Protein, of course, is a macronutrient, fat, carbs, and protein. Those are the three big ones. I did do a like nutrition 101. I can't remember if I did it on carbs or fat, but I will link it. This is not like a 101 video on protein. If you want me to dive deeper into protein and how it's processed and all that sort of stuff, let me know and I can do more of a like nutrition 101 kind of video where I dive a little deeper into it. But for the purposes of this video, Protein's a macronutrient, but it's important in so many different systems of your body. It's important to help build and repair muscles. I feel like that's what we think about most, you know, having a protein shake after a hard workout, that sort of thing. It's important for keeping you full and satisfied for things like hair and skin and nails and bones and hormones and all different types of body systems. Plus it kind of helps you kind of regulate your appetite, stay full for longer, curb some cravings a little bit. So it's an important part of your body, of your diet. So it's definitely something that we need to focus on. Now I feel like so much focus has been put on protein and especially when someone wants to go more plant-based, the first thing they're concerned about or other people are concerned for them is protein. How are you gonna get protein? How are you gonna get enough protein? In reality, we do not need as much protein as, you know, the general public slash media has made us believe that we do. I'm not gonna give you an exact amount because everyone is different. Everyone has different activity levels, etc. So I'm not gonna tell you exactly how much protein you need to eat, but we don't need to be having like three protein shakes a day. So that is also to say when you're eating plant-based, protein might not be as big of a concern as you might think it is. Yes, we're used to kind of centering all of our meals around meat, which is the obvious source of protein. But if you're eating a balanced plant-based diet, meaning not just like pasta for every meal, you probably are getting some good sources of protein. So real quick, the biggest difference between plant and animal proteins um, is amino acids. There are 20 essential amino acids. Amino acids are kind of what makes up protein. Again, I can dive deeper into this in another video if you want, but um, there are 20 essential amino acids. And essential means that your body does not make them. So it's essential that you get them from an outside source. And animal protein has all 20 of those essential amino acids. So we call animal protein complete protein. Plant-based protein on the other hand, does not have all 20. So most plant-based proteins are incomplete. There are a couple complete sources of plant-based protein. Quinoa is a really popular one, but in general, most plant-based protein is incomplete. And that really just means that you need to make sure you're getting a variety of different forms of protein. You know, just don't eat black beans with every single meal and expect to get everything you need from that one thing. The other difference that I feel like some people maybe express concern about is a lot of plant-based sources of protein are higher carb, and that is not a bad thing at all. Like I said, meat is really the most common form of protein, and that's like pretty much just protein and fat. Whereas when you go to plant-based sources of protein, you're looking at things like grains and beans and things like that, they are higher in carbs, which have been kind of villainized, but they're so packed full of fiber and other nutrients. And if you're worried about carbs, I assure you, plant-based sources of protein are not something to worry about when it comes to their carb content. 
So that is just a little bit of background on protein, plant-based protein. Now I'm going to share my five favorite forms of plant-based protein. I eat a mostly plant-based diet. I'm not vegetarian, I'm not vegan, but I pretty much don't cook meat at home. But then if I wanna like get takeout or whatever, if I want it, I will have meat. But I would say 80% of my meals are plant-based. So I do eat a good amount of plant-based proteins. So my first favorite is tofu. And this is one that I was not a fan of until I started eating more plant-based. I feel like tofu gets such a bad reputation and everyone thinks it's gross. And I don't really know why, because it's delicious. There's so many good tofu recipes out there. I love, um, Trader Joe's has like pre-seasoned tofu and I just throw it in like a stir fry. Um, I'll link a couple of my favorite tofu recipes down below, but tofu is a really good high protein, lower carb if you're looking for that um, source of plant-based protein. It does have soy in it, which is not something I would recommend eating every single day, but unless you have underlying conditions, it's totally fine to have this every once in a while, even a couple times a week. My second favorite, this might be my top, no, I would say this is actually my second favorite source of plant-based plant -based protein is chickpeas. I like most beans, but chickpeas just are my favorite. I don't know why. I love roasting chickpeas. I love putting chickpeas on salad. I love putting chickpeas in soup or especially curry. I put chickpeas in like any curry that I ever make. They're just so good. I don't, I just, oh, hummus. I didn't even think about hummus. It's just, they're just delicious. These are beans, so they are gonna be like a higher carb source of protein, but like I said, packed full of fiber, packed full of other nutrients, and packed full of protein as well. And so versatile. The next one is one that I use in lots of like soups and stuff too, and that is lentils. I really like yellow lentils in things like Indian dishes and stuff like that. I tend to make those sorts of things like in a large batch as my lunch for the week, and lentils are really good for that. Love a good lentil soup. Again, lentils can be thrown on like salad too. I feel like that is like one thing about all plant-based proteins is most of them are so versatile. You can just do so many different things with them. My fourth is one that I actually have every single day and that is hemp seeds. And this is one that's more of like a, it's not gonna be the center of your meal. It's more of like an addition, a topping, but hemp seeds are a really good source of protein and omega-3 healthy fats. I like to just sprinkle them on top of my yogurt every morning just to add a little bit of extra protein. I know they're really good on top of a salad or in a smoothie as well. And again, they're just a little topping that can just add a little extra nutrition. And then my final, and I think this is my actual favorite, and that is nut butter. I just, peanut butter in particular is just the best. Nuts are really good too, but I prefer them in nut butter form. <laughs> I put peanut butter in my yogurt every morning. I like peanut butter or almond butter with apples. That's one of my favorite snacks. They're good in a smoothie. You can make like dressing out of it, a sauce out of it. They're just, it's, it's just so good. And again, a really good source of healthy fast as well. So those are my five favorite forms of plant-based protein. I hope that maybe you got some new ideas. If you were thinking that there's not a lot of choice when it comes to plant-based protein, hopefully I convinced you otherwise. Maybe you learned a little something about plant-based protein. I don't know, let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, if you want me to make a more in-depth like protein, 101 kind of video let me know if you want to see recipes you know the drill just let me know what you want to see um subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you're following me on instagram as well because i post lots of food pictures and stuff so if you do want some other ideas instagram is a good place to find them all right well thank you so much for watching i will see you next time bye